Right now at 7, the slow and delicate process of disembarking passengers from two Holland America ships now docked at Port Everglades. These are live aerials from Chopper 4 of the Zandam and the sister ship Rotterdam cruise ships. What we're seeing today comes after days of uncertainty. Local and state officials wrestled over whether to allow the ships to dock here in the first place following four deaths and a handful of confirmed COVID-19 cases on board. Late today, the cruise line and Broward County struck a deal to help get passengers off the ships and either back to their ho homes or to the hospital. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us now live from Port Everglades with the details. Carrie. Well, Ruta Bay and Elliot, some are calling this an unprecedented effort and situation to get these two cruise ships here into port at Port Everglades. And now comes the challenging operation to deal with the sick and to get more than 1,200 healthy passengers from the two vessels home safely. A pair of cruise ships with a handful of sick passengers suffering from the novel coronavirus are back on U.S. soil. Workers placed some of the sick passengers from the Zandam into ambulances late Thursday afternoon. Roy and Diane Smith from Ocala are among those returning to the U.S. They're healthy and they rejoice when the news of their docking came down Thursday. Everybody's kind of going, yay, hooray, it's about time. So... I'm sure everybody's cheering in their cabins. I know we are. I think it shows the good side of Broward County. Broward County Mayor Dale Holness explained what led to the decision to allow the Zandam and Rotterdam cruise ships to dock at Port Everglades. He said it had a lot to do with the dozens of Floridians on board. That was a major part of our consideration that we had residents from South Florida on that ship and we had fellow Americans on that ship. That's why we worked so diligently to ensure that we didn't leave any of our people uh, at sea. At this point, 13 passengers who are seriously ill will be taken to Broward Health Medical Center or to Larkin Community Hospital. Another 26 passengers who have mild symptoms will remain on board the ships to be treated and quarantined. Crew members will remain on the vessels. There are four patients on board the Zandam who died. Meanwhile, the process begins Thursday evening to drive South Florida residents home. And then on Friday and Saturday, charter flights will take healthy passengers to several airports across the country. It is a solution that provides for the well of the people of Broad County. Diane Smith and her husband can't wait to get out of their cabin that they've been in for days, breathe some fresh air, and celebrate Diane's birthday, which is Thursday. It's a good birthday present. So happy to, happy to have that make it extra special. Obviously a more difficult time for passengers on board the ships who are sick. First responders have been treating them over the last hour or so, ferrying them to two different hospitals here in South Florida. Now, as for the healthy patients, we are passengers. We are told that they will wear masks coming off the ship. They'll have their temperatures taken. They'll go through a couple of different screening procedures to make sure they are indeed healthy. Those who are flying to their destinations will be driven directly to the tarmac at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and they will board charter planes there. We're told that none of these passengers will actually go into Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Now, the port director called this situation unprecedented, but it might not remain unprecedented for long. There's another ship, the Coral Princess, that is due to dock here on Saturday, and there are reports that there are a number of patients on board that ship who also have tested positive for COVID-19. Live at Port Everglades, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.